Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will learn that how to classify the soil samples using the Ashto soil classification system. The question is shown and in this case, I have been given the eight soil samples and I have to classify each of these soil samples by Ashto's classification system. And also I have to give the group index for each soil. So we will take each of these soil one by one and find the uh, Ashto's classification. So first let us take soil sample A. For this soil, I can see that more than 35% that is 72 percent of the soil passes the sieve number 200 it means that this soil falls under the silt clay materials the percentage uh, passing c number 10 is 98 for c number 40 it is 80 and for c number 200 is 72. liquid limit of the soil is 52 and plus t index of the soil is 21. So we will be using Ashto's table and we will proceed from left to right to find the correct classification of this soil. We can see for this soil that uh, percentage passing C number 272 for all the soil samples that is all the four groups that is A4, A5, A6 and A7. The minimum percentage passing C number uh, 200 is 36. After that, we have to check the liquid limit and plasticity index. We can see for our soil, the liquid limit is 52. So this rules out A4 and A6 because for these two groups, the maximum liquid limit is 40. So this leaves us with A5 or A7. But we can see our plasticity index is 21. And for our soil, uh, for this A5, the maximum plasticity index is 10. So this rules out A5 and leaving only A7. It means that our soil is A7. Next, we have to find it whether it is A75 or A76. So we can see that the plasticity index, which is 21, it is less than liquid limit minus 30, which is 22. It means that our soil is A75. After that, we will find the group index of the soil, which is given by this formula, where F200 is the percentage passing C number 200. Uh, LL is the liquid limit and PI is the plus T index. We will put the values for these uh, different quantities and we can see that our group index comes out to be 15.89 we have to take it to the next whole number which is 16 it means that the group index of the soil is 16 so we can write the classification of this soil as a7516 after that for soil b we can again see that more than 35 percent or we can say 58 percent of the soil passes c number 200 it falls under silt clay materials, percentage passing C number 10 is 90, C number 40 is 74, C number 200 is 58, liquid limit is 38, plus C index is 12. Again, we will use the Ashto's table and proceed from left to right uh, till we find the desired classification of the soil. We have to proceed from left to right and rule out one by one till the characteristics of these uh, soil groups match the characteristics of our given soil. We can see for our soil, the liquid limit is 38 and uh, plus T index is 12. We can see for A4, the li maximum liquid limit is 40, but the maximum liquid uh, plus T index is 10. So this rules out A4. For A5, the maximum liquid uh, minimum liquid limit is 41, but for our soil, liquid limit is 38, so this rules out A5. For A6, the maximum liquid limit is 38, and plus T minimum plus T index is 11, so it means that our soil is A6. After that, we will find the group index of the soil which comes out to be 5. It means that the classification of our soil is A65. For soil C, 
we can see that less than 35 percent of the soil passes C number 200 it means it falls under the granular materials Percentage passing C number 10 is 90, C number 40 is 74, C number 200 is 32. Liquid limit and plasticity index are 28 and 9 respectively. We will use the Ashto's table for granular materials. We can see that uh, percentage uh, passing for A1, maximum uh, percentage passing C number 10 is 50, so this rules out A1. For uh, A3, uh, maximum material passing C number 200 is uh, 10, but for our soil it is 32. This rules out A3. For A24, we can see that maximum uh, passing C number 200 is 35 max, and for our soil it is 32. After that, we will look for liquid limit and plasticity index. Liquid limit for our soil is 28 and plus index is 9, which are in the limits of A24. So it means that our soil is A24. Also, the group index of the soil which belongs to the group A24 is always 0. So we can say that the classification of our soil is A240. For soil D, Only 8% of the uh, soil sample passes C number 200, so it means that it again falls under granular materials. Percentage passing C number 10 is 86, C number 40 is 56, C number 200 is 8. Also, this soil is non plastic. We will again use the Ashto's table. We can find that this soil falls in the group A3 for which. The percentage passing C number 40 is 51 minimum. For our soil, it is 56. And uh, for C number 200, it is 10 max. And for our soil, it is 8. And this soil is also, this group is also non plastic. So it means that our soil is A3. And uh, again, for this soil which belongs to A3, the group index is always 0. We can say that classification of the soil is A30. For soil E, we can see that more than 35% passes C number 200, so it means it falls under silt clay materials. Percentage passing C number 10 is 84, C number 40 is 71, C number 200 is 64. Liquid limit and plus C index are 41 and 14 respectively. Using the Ashto's table, we can see that liquid limit of this soil is 41 and plus T index is 14. We can see that this soil falls in the group of uh, A7 for which the minimum liquid limit should be 41 and plus T index should be 11 minimum. So our soil is A7. Next we have to see that whether it's A75 or A76. The plus C index of this soil is 14, which is less than liquid limit minus 30. It means this soil is A76. Group index of this soil comes out to be 7.91, which is uh, close to next whole number that is 8. So it means that the classification of this soil is A768. We can see that for the soil F, 82% uh, passes C number 200 so it means that it falls under silt clay materials the percentage passing C number 10 is 100 C number 40 is 78 and C number 200 is 82 liquid limit and plus C index of this soil is 32 and 12 respectively again we will use the Ashto's classification table and proceed from left to right for our soil, the liquid limit is 32 and plus C index is 12. For A4, uh, maximum plus C index is 12. This rules out A4. For A5, minimum liquid limit is 41. So this rules out A5. For A6, liquid limit is 40 max and plus C index is 11 minimum. It means that our soil is A6 because it matches the characteristics of our given soil. 
so the soil is a6 group index of this soil is given as 8.86 or we can say as 9 so the classification of our soil is a69 next soil g we can see for this soil that only 12 percent passes c number 200 it means this falls under granular materials percentage passing c number 10 is 42 c number 40 is 28 and c number 200 is 12 liquid limit is 18 and plus c index is 13 we will use the ashto's classification table for granular materials we can see that for our soil that percentage passing c number 10 is 42 uh, c number 40 is 28 c number uh, 200 is 12 but uh, the liquid limit is 18 and plus c index is 13 this rules out a1 and a3 because for uh, a1 the maximum plus c index is 6 and a3 is non-plastic for a24 we can see that the maximum plus c index is again 10 this rules out a24 for a25 the minimum liquid limit should be 41 this again rules out a25 and uh, for a26 maximum liquid limit is 40 and plus c index minimum is 11 so our soil matches a26 it means that our soil is a26 for a26 we have to calculate the partial group index which is given by this formula that is gi is equal to 0 0.01 f200 minus 15 times pi minus 10 where f200 is the percentage passing c number 200 and pi is the plus c index putting values we get the value of group index as minus 0 0.09 it means that group index is 0 so we can say that the classification of the soil is a260 for soil h we can see that uh, less than 35 percent or 30 percent of the soil passes c number 200 so it is a it falls under the granular materials percentage passing c number 10 is 92 c number 40 is 68 and c number 200 is 30. liquid limit of this soil is 42 and plus c index is 28. we will use the astros table for granular materials we can see that for this soil the liquid limit is 42 and plus c index is 28 which matches the characteristics of a27 so it means that our given soil is a27 for a27 again we have to calculate the partial group index so for this soil the partial group index is equal to 1.2 which is close to 1 so we can say that the classification of this soil is a27 so this is how we can calculate the classifications of the soil samples using the ashto's classification system i hope the solution video was clear to you and you learned something new from this video if you liked my video please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching my video and i will see you in the next video